Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. For 10 more minutes, F-14 Tomcat build in action. Oh yeah baby, the marathon has begun. Let's get right to it. I got my wood all done. I decided to just clamp it instead of using batteries for my carbon. Now I, I laminated all that carbon on top of a piece of eighth inch plywood. Okay, once that sets up, I'm gonna let that get to like the rubbery stage. And I'll be able to tell from my brush. Now we're a little bit past that rubbery stage. I just want it before it totally cures out because it, it trims a lot better. It won't tear up my blade so much. And then I can mark my pieces on the wood side. Cut them right out on my bandsaw. I'm just going to trace these. Bam, I'm going to trace them. Then I'm going to take them and I'm going to scuff these up with the old sander. Clean it real good. And I'm going to uh, glue the wood side of my carbon onto this with JB Weld. Okay, then it'll, then it'll get some longer bolts. I'm just metric bolts. I have to get a little bit longer ones for there. Okay, and the reason I'm doing this beef up work, okay, I want to make this short and just sweet. I don't want to get into a bunch of drama about some old boys in Germany that decided to put 350 pounds of weight on their F-14. You know, I'm doing this Number one, to get wherever I take this airplane, it will give you know them people a little bit of extra confidence in it. You know what I mean? Uh, Mark has got over 70 flights on his, and this is all he did, and that's good enough for me, man. Not one of these failed in the air, and uh, that is that's that's it for the drama. Okay, let's get on to building this bad boy. Okay. <laughs> I took some up. Uh, you know, I, I don't like leaving this exposed wood. Wood. You know, I like the prime. That's just a, a clean metal primer. Is what that is. Rust oleum. It's white, and I really like it. And uh, did that in this inside wood right here. Got all my trays done. Now I've already got this mapped out. I did that in the old noggin, in the old bobo noggin. It ain't written down on any paper, but. Uh, it's, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna build me a little shelf in there. So I just got the top of my box sticking out. Okay. Now there's them little, another place for air tanks right here. They're supposed to fit in there right there. But I have two of these other tanks, and uh, I want to, I want to use this space for something else. Okay. So I'm just gonna build me a shelf across here. I'm gonna mount my UV5 Pro box right there. On this side. I'm going to have a whole mess of Jetronic electronic valves, the dual action valves, kind of like retract valves, to work the canopy, to work the lock on the canopy, to work the speed brake. Seems like I got one more of them for something. Oh, to make uh, mode three on my uh, landing gear doors. Okay, so I'm going to have four of them. So I'm going to build me another little shelf way down here and mount all four of them Jetronic dual action valves on that board. Then when I put this board on top of it, you won't ever see it. Okay, and I'm gonna run all my cables under this board and all my extension cords underneath and they're gonna come out right there. That hole's big enough for my receiver. You know I like to do that. So then all I gotta do is push my receiver through there, bam, velcro it right there. That's all you're gonna see. Some wires coming out. <laughs> And uh, a lot of this airline's going to be way down there, so you ain't even going to see none of it. All right. And uh, this is going to be one slick looking Tomcat. I believe I'm going to put my ECUs right here, one on each wall. That is my two uh, air traps are going right there. And uh, I think I can mount some up, uh, because all this will be gone, remember. It'll be gone out of sight, out of mind. Be way down there under this board. And uh, put my uh, uh, turbine ECUs right there. Bam. Easy to get to, easy to work on. That way I can keep this area clutter free too, because I don't want this cluttered up. Plus, I want as much weight as far forward as I can. I got my turbine rails glued in there. And it seemed like the, oh, Bill, what are these? <laughs> I 
Where do these go? I got four of them. And they seem this one's tapered. That one's not. I got two tapered ones and two straight ones. Where do them go? Lol, you need to watch this video. <laughs> I do not have a clue. It's about the only thing I ain't got figured out. My extension cords, I'm all just going to run right through the center right here. All up real clean and neat. Put some plastic tie wrap around it. And uh, be real clean and neat. Oh, and these air tanks here. I think I'm just going to glue them up here in these cheeks. Up in here. Plenty of room. Nothing there. And then uh, just run the airline right through in the middle with that other airline. And uh, out of sight, out of mind, baby. They don't weigh nothing. A couple of tanks is like putting a feather back there. But that's what I got going on. Just wanted to give you guys a feeling today be kind of hit and miss. But once I get all my parts, baby, we're going to have the marathon building action. Have this Tomcat in the air. And we got to go get a test flight on it before we take it to Kentucky. But we don't want to rush nothing to where it ain't. Everything ain't absolutely perfect. And that's where you guys come in. <laughs> so when you see me out here working at 3 in the morning and my voice starts getting real groggy, you can tell when I do when I get tired. I watch some of these videos and thought, man, what's wrong with that guy? <laughs> it's 3 in the morning. <laughs> but uh, she's looking good. And uh, remember, this is a drama free zone, baby. And we're going to get this Tomcat, we're going to get it flying, and it's going to do awesome. I cannot wait. You just got to treat it with a little respect, you know. This ain't a super stunt 3D type airplane, you know. And uh, we'll be good to go. I can't wait to fly it. These things fly. You know, there's a lot of these flying on YouTube. You guys look around. And uh, they look like they fly like trainers. Like dang boomerangs. You know. <laughs> you don't see them bouncing in. They, they just land nice and look like they fly like boomerangs to me. And uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. You not wait. And you guys are going to see it happen. Right here in the shop. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut this video a little short. I ain't got nothing to do at the moment. I'm going to start making this pattern, though, for this. I've been debating about even to do this, but I'm going to have the carbon laid up, so I'm going to have it do it. And I really want to do this, really, for the peace of mind of where, you know, where I take it, you know. And um, I think they'll be happy to see it done to it. So, uh... We'll see you back in the shop. I'll make another video once I start getting that all prepped and uh, ready for a template. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. <laughs>